Is that a beautiful fish or what? See, see the gold bladder out, coming out of his mouth there? That's what happens to him. Right oh. Just throw it out as far as you can, Rob. What a bloody farce, isn't it, eh? Can someone please tell me what that's doing for conservation? Right out. See if you swim off. Give, give him a long throw. What a bloody farce, isn't it, eh? I took Mr C last week to show you the, the carnage and the slaughter of wasted cod. Can you please tell me what this is doing for conservation? Because of the limited quota set by Europe, fishermen must now throw back dead or dying fish as a so-called act of conservation. Six men earn a living aboard Ben Loyal. European conservation may soon put these men on the dole. In four days this spring, over one and a half tons of cod was dumped from the Ben Loyal alone. European authorities accept that millions of tons of perfect fish are discarded each year to abide by the law. See that, what a lovely cod, four five year old cod. If these men was being paid by the hour, they'd be on minimum wage. They got to throw a third of their wages back over the side. The Ben Loyal is a typical West Country fishing vessel, now unable to make a sensible financial return. Each day, an EU logbook must be completed. However, it will never hide the true wicked loss of discarded prime fish. Fisherman's leader and active fisherman, David Murhead, explains. Large numbers of fish are being dumped dead or dying into the sea. It's a total waste of resource and not one single fish is being conserved. What an absolutely crazy system it is. We'll just look at some basic principles about the quota system. The quota system is supposedly introduced to conserve fish. Now in a mono fishery, like the mackerel fishery, it will work because as soon as the quota is caught, the fishery can be closed. In a mixed fishery, like we've got down here at the moment, it's a total disaster. We have trawlers and gill netters targeting a wide variety of different species. Of Cornwall, there are probably more species than any, anywhere else in the UK. Along comes the, the net, up comes a great bag of mixed fish, in amongst it are some cod. Unfortunately for the cod, and unfortunately for us at the moment, there are good stocks here, however we have a lamentably low quota. So as soon as the uh, cod are caught, most of them have to be dumped back dead or dying into the sea. It's a total waste of a resource and nothing is conserved. Skipper John Turtle explains how much cod his crew throws back in four months. 15 tonnes, 20 tonnes. Our quota per month is, is half a tonne. The quota has been cut so much that uh, we, we, we can catch a month's quota in a day and uh, we're just throw, throwing it back which is absolute carnage. When we throw it back the seagulls will peck the eyes away and it will sink and rot on the seabed. It's so demoralising throwing that dead fish back but it's, but 
you know, given a chance, I'd, I'd get out of it tomorrow. There's no enjoyment in it anymore. I mean, I love the boat, I love, used to love the job, you know, but it's, it's, uh, it's a I'm all for conservation. I address the fishermen up to, to be raped and pillaged in the sea, but uh, there's, there's, there's nothing further from the truth. I want a sustainable fishery. I want to see the youngsters have, have, a, have a future. How much longer can the Ben Loyal carry on fishing while the common fisheries policy remains in force?